It was in the autumn of 1925, definitely. My night school teacher, he said to me, would you go down to the Temperance Cafe where I understand there's going to be a demonstration of seeing by wireless. So I went away down <coughs> and there was no one in the room when I went in, but two men came in one was Logie Baird, the other one was John Hart, his great friend. And they proceeded to couple up to, to the, the mains electricity. Well, after it was coupled up, Baird gave a talk, which I think was about half an hour. It was, he, he, went, he went into it very comprehensively. And it's strange to relate, the night school teacher had us so primed as to what television was likely to be like, that I could follow him. Now, after the demonst after the talk was over, he passed right by where I, the chair I was sitting on. He says, would you follow me? Which I did. And I followed him into the quick lunch bar. Now he says, would you sit on the, the, the projector? Which I did. And I never saw the picture, but the audience saw it and they said it was very like me. And that was really all there was to it. It seemed to die for the next six years. Nobody talked about it because there was nobody made television sets and no shop sold anything. Beard was the only man that could make one. <laughs>